Hello, I'm Susie Spickle, a naturalist at the Harris Center for Conservation Education, and this is Wild at Home. Do you wish you could see a vibrant red cardinal or a bold blue jay, or watch a cheery chickadee flit from branch to branch in your own backyard? Who doesn't like watching birds? Seeing and hearing these beautiful flying creatures can brighten anyone's day, lifting our spirits and reminding us all of what is wild and free in our world. In the winter, we have a unique opportunity. By feeding birds seeds and suet, we not only get a chance to see them up close in our own backyard, but we also get to help these wild creatures survive the thin times of winter. By providing birds with additional food in the winter, we are helping to make their lives easier during hard times, increasing the likelihood of them surviving the winter and at the same time making our own lives a little brighter. Having seed and suet available in your yard is especially helpful to birds during severe cold snaps or during and after snowstorms. Birds benefit from these additional calories available at the feeder. This can help them get through the toughest conditions winter brings. Being choosy about what you put in your feeder will help keep birds healthy and help you avoid wasting your money on seed that the birds will just drop out of their beak onto the ground. One of the best choices is whole black oil sunflower seed. Using sunflower seeds that are no longer in the shell will not only help you from having to clean up the empty shells in the spring, but it is actually easier for the bird to consume, using less energy than it would be if it had to break open the shell to get to the seed. Remember, wintertime survival is all about conserving energy. Other good options are unsalted dry roasted peanuts out of the shell, cracked corn, and thistle seed. And of course, don't forget suet, which is an excellent source of fat for birds during winter. To make sure you're offering birds a healthy, clean, and safe feeding experience, be sure to clean out your feeders with some hot soapy water every few weeks. This will help stop your feeders from spreading disease. Set up a few feeders around your yard to help limit competition between birds. Position your feeders a few feet from bushes or trees. This provides cover for the birds and a safe place to retreat to if a hawk or an owl is nearby. And once you start feeding the birds in the winter, stick with it. Birds need the most calories in the cold months and they will come to depend on your kindness. And don't forget, when the weather warms and bears wake up, take your feeders in. Spending time feeding birds gives you a chance to watch some of New Hampshire's most amazing wild creatures. When you spend time feeding the birds, you never know what's going to happen. Happy wild at home watching!